Good morning. Welcome to our Wednesday devotional. I trust you have a wonderful day today, and I appreciate your taking time with me uh, to just look into a thought or two from God's Word. We live in a generation that is growing up too fast. Have you noticed that? Little kids want to be big kids. They want to have the things big kids have, and that's probably always been the case. I remember as a teenager, I wanted to be 16 so I could drive a car, and then I wanted to be old enough to be out of high school, and then old enough to vote, and all those things. So that's a natural thing, I think. But I heard just this week a sad, sad story about a child, a six-and-a-half-year-old boy, who already, on his phone, is looking at pornography. Can you imagine? Six-and-a-half years old. I'm trying to think back when I was six and a half years old, I don't think I knew much about boys and girls except that girls had long hair and boys had short hair. Didn't know a great deal about the differences. Usually, when we were kids, boys could run faster than girls. We were stronger than girls. But pornography? Uh, it's, it saddens my heart. Well, the Bible talks about times like this. In fact, in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 20. Now, in 1 Corinthians 14, Paul is speaking about knowledge. He's speaking about speaking in tongues. He's speaking about prophecy. So he's speaking about those sorts of spiritual gifts. But he gives us a principle here that I think can serve us well in our lives. Uh, not just kids, but for adults too. The principle is found in verse 20. When he says this, Brethren, be not children in understanding. Howbeit, in malice, be children. But in understanding, be men. Do you see what he's saying here? He's saying there are certain areas, the area of understanding is what he's speaking of, in which we should be men. We should grow up. We should understand things of the scripture. We should understand truths about God's word. We should understand truths about God's living. And we should continue to grow in those areas. When he was writing to Timothy, he said this, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So he's saying here in these matters of understanding, and he was talking about spiritual gifts, but we can add that into all of our lives. We can add that into our scripture understanding, our life actions. We ought to be mature. We ought to grow up. We ought to get away from those things we learned early and grow and learn how to live a godly life. But he said in the same verse, 1 Corinthians fourteen twenty, in malice be children. Malice, the Greek word, actually means a whole bunch of things, but they're all bad. It means evil, a badness, wickedness, depravity. So he says, in depravity, in evil things, be children. Be, the word we would use, be naive. Uh, we don't know. Uh, I'm thankful when there are things I don't know about. I'm thankful when there are words used, and I think, what does that mean? Even as an adult, that's the way it is. That's the way it ought to be. We're to be children regarding evil. We're to be naive regarding evil. And in scriptural things and understandings, we're to be mature and we're to be men. So I want to just remind you today, stay away from evil. Stay away from evil activities. Stay away six and a half year old with pornography. Every man and woman that might be interested should stay away from that. There's nothing good going to come of that. Stay away from those evil influences. Stay away from those habits that are bad. Even stay away from those people that draw you down. He says, in understanding, be men. But in malice, be children. Stay away from those things. Now, that's good advice, but not just for kids. It's good advice for teenagers. And really, it's good advice for adults. Here it is again. He says this, 
Brethren, be not children in understanding. Howbeit in malice be children, but in understanding be men. Let's grow up in the right things. And let's, in those wrong things, let's just be children. Let's be naive. Let's not know all about evil. And I believe God will bless us for that. Have a wonderful day.